Right then, I have spotted cows in the field I've got to go through. But at the moment, they're very high up. But not that far away. So I, whether they start moving down, you know, I've got a go uphill yet and everything. So... I'm not having the cheese and tomato until I'm across that field anyway. I'm not going to risk it. Anyway, we go down this little pathway now. I stopped on the bench back there where Dr. Perry's got a bench who helped restore the West Mendip Way on and put it on the map and everything. He's got a bench to remember him. Uh, nice views sat back there, over looking western and the hills, Spanwell. Uh, and then I had an orange and a drink of water. And then I, from there I could view the field I've got to go through. And they look like a big herd of black cows and they look quite big. Um, now there's a hedge into another field. <sighs> But they can go in both fields if they felt like it. So basically what I've got to do is bloody hurry. I've got to get across that field before they start making a descent. At the moment they're under, they always sort of shade under a load of trees. But it's whether they spot me or anything or if they're going to do anything horrible. You know, I mean, don't know if they've got calves or anything. But this is the West Mendip Way. And these cows should be used to people walking through the field. But that means nothing sometimes with cows. They can just suddenly take it upon themselves to attack. Um, so I am a bit worried. I've always been worried about this field. And uh, like I say, I've crept across it before now, keeping my head ducked, hoping they can't see me. I don't know if they can smell humans. I certainly won't be doing a video when I'm going across it. Because um, I don't want to make no noise. I might go the other side of the fence as well. Um, and plan a, a sort of retreat or, you know. So anyway, this is quite overgrown. This is the West Mendip Way from Shipham. This will take me all the way to Winscombe. Down the big track that I like to go down. Bumpy, humpy. Boggy, quite often boggy. Uh, quite often very boggy, actually. <sighs> Even in the summer, it can still retain bogginess. <sighs> so this is a nice little o oasis here. This little valley here. It's very lush and green. It's got a stream running through it. I'm not quite sure where the stream links up. Um, it might just be a ditch, but, you know, who knows. But it is a quite nice little area here. I'm going to video until I get to the bridge, then I'll take photos the other side. I've just got to be careful going down this dusty track. There's the troll bridge ahead of us. And, um... When I, and I've got a, quite a steep climb up the other side, then I enter that field. But as you can see, there's uh, lots of lush green plant life in there. A bit boggy here, so this sh probably is a sign that the West Mendip Way further up will be boggy. We had a horrendous rainstorm last week on the Wednesday. And it can take a while for it to drain away in these areas. So we're going across the Trip Trap Troll Bridge, everyone. The Trip Trap Troll Bridge. It was only a little tiny meandering stream, but it provides water for life. There's a lot of there's a few little stiles here and there to get over.
Oh. So, here we go. Here's the lush area. So I'm going to turn off now because I've got to climb up a hill into that field. Okay? Over and out. Right, everyone. See that cow there? I just had to walk through a field of black bullock bullocks. I came in that field first and I seen all them in there. I had to pass about four back there. I had to literally pass them. That was the only one that looked a bit frisky when I got here. He was the only one that looked like he might cause me grief. He sort of turned around and watched me and I kept making a noise like, yep, go on, go on, yep, go on like that. I, I, I couldn't get over the stile, first of all. There was no step. My little legs. So basically I climbed up on here God, that was so scary for me because there's, there were cows on either side. I had started to come in that field, but I would have bumped straight into these here. And there's more. And they're the black herd. It's not something I like doing. Do you know what I mean? It's not something I like doing. I didn't want to do it. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know where I was going to go. Are you coming over to speak? Eh? What are you doing? Are you a nice cow? Or are you a, you're a bullock, aren't you? You two are the scariest out of all of them. I had to walk past two, very close to you two though. But you two were staring at me. Oh, I can't believe I walked through that field there. Look, honestly, I just decided to be brave, but I was probably stupid. But there's no calves, it's just bullocks. And uh, that one there's still curious. See, look, that he's coming up. What do you want? Eh? You be a good boy? Yeah. I got you on the camera. You be a good boy. You let me through the field. Go on. Go and join your friends. Hey, yes you are. I wouldn't have got in the field if I'd come there and saw you looking at me. Look, the other one's gone. God, that was so scary. They got no nudgy. There's another one coming. What do you want? Hey, you could push this fence down if you wanted to, couldn't you? You curious? Yay! Look at you! Yeah, movies. Let me take a picture of you. Come on, then. Come on. Yeah. I got a picture of you. Yeah. Hello. Hello, movies. Come on, then. Come on. Come on. Moo-moos, your lovely little moo-moos Do you want me to sing you to sleep? Moo-moos, your lovely moo-moos And I love you, moo-moos, yes I do Right, I'm just going to take a picture of you both